Frank Thomas said that uh, sermons are born when there is a collision between life uh, uh, avenue and uh, biblical street or uh, and in that intersection sermons are born and sometimes life collides with the text collides with the congregation collides with the city and when that happens it's the role of the preacher to be well informed not just speak your opinion but to be well informed to understand of several sides to this story um, and then be able to find uh, the prophetic, divine, and spiritual center to clarify to the people uh, how we're to engage this issue. Uh, for uh, Trinity, uh, we've had you know, several moments where we've had to deal with a variety of issues, whether it's uh, violence, um, mass incarceration, uh, education, and the issue of, of economic uh, violence or economic apartheid uh, that happens in many cities. And so it was my role to make sure that I had the information to understand a broader context of, of economics when I preached on uh, the issue of, of economics and economic apartheid. And do more study, not just cursory study from a newspaper, but I decided to pick up The Economist and understanding economic theory to a degree. I worked very hard to have uh, a background knowledge of this. Not that I'd preach all of it, uh, but I wanted to be able to communicate effectively and intelligently to the congregation. And then knowing that much of the scripture has an underlying economic uh, base to it meaning that there are economic issues uh, that we do not address. Issues of class and issues of power and the powerless and how does God view those issues. And I had to do my homework. It's not good enough to stand in the pulpit and say this is wrong. You have to be able to be a clarifier of those issues.